Good morning. It's a very subdued, very quiet, very polite good morning. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, my name is John Hammond. It's a pleasure to welcome you to Telford today. We've got a great conference ahead for you. You're really going to enjoy the day. There's lots of different things going to be happening. And when you leave us later on this afternoon, you'll go out thinking, I didn't know that. Wow, that's great. A um, couple of quick questions, if, if I may, throughout the day. My job is to just help you get the most from the conference. So I'm going to ask you one or two personal questions. Is that all right? Did anybody say yes? Um, just put your hand up if this is, this is the first Magnet Conference for you. Lots of people. Welcome. It's great to have you with us. Put your hands up if you've been to several Magnet Conferences. Right, you have a role, guys. Please make the people whose first conference it is very welcome. Please take 60 seconds to introduce yourselves to everybody on your table, which isn't long. Now, not only introduce yourself, I want you to say who you are, where you're from, and what your major passion is in life. Can I do a quick check with you? On the applause level, what's it going to be like? Three, two, one, now. <laughs> Genteel ladies, tea party in Harrogate. Can we do it and up the stakes a little bit, all right? Three, two, one, now. <laughs> Drunken genteel ladies tea party in Harrogate. One more time with feeling. Three, two, one, now. <laughs> so from time to time, I will launch off into the audience, and I might just well come to your table and say to someone, what did you think of that? Well, don't, don't look so worried. I'm not going to. Uh, what do you think of that? What was good for you? What are you going to use tomorrow and next week and the month after that will help you be better at what you do and keep you going in the right directions? So now you know about the vision, which affects absolutely everybody in this room. And we've talked about the Magnet family, which you are all part of, and you've met other members of the family today. But let's look slightly wider than that to introduce our special guest. Please welcome back Breben. John Hammond gave the first seminar of the week on effective communication. My role today has been talking about how to inspire audiences, which uh, sounds quite straightforward, but a lot of people have problems of actually talking to audiences. An audience be one person through to hundreds of people, but how can they get their message across? How can they influence people? How can they be stronger within themselves when they stand on a stage or in front of a meeting and talk to people and actually get their point of view across well? And what's more, when people leave the room, know that their message just got across firmly, strongly, and people actually act on it. It's interesting, as, as a northerner, I'm based in the north, uh, and I firmly believe that the north has so much to offer, but I spend a lot of my working time in London and other parts of Europe, and there, there can be this negativity of people, sort of the stereotype. Uh, the person from Hull who is going to be sort of standing on a stage and putting something across not well. Now, hopefully, with the things we've talked about today, one of them is to be yourself to actually, wherever you come from, be proud of where you come from. And that comfort level of walking onto a stage and talking about what you believe in, what you're passionate about, and that can be Hull. It can be the future of Hull. It can be the way that Hull's developing, which is absolutely fantastic. Lots of work being done on it. People need to feel passionate about it. So hopefully today, I would love to think I've inspired one or two people who will go out there, and whatever their world may be, whatever area of work they work in, to inspire people to think a little more about Hull. It's a pleasure to be back with you for the Emmerdale Golf Classic and spectacular evening. Um, if we haven't met before, my name's John Hammond. It's lovely to be here. Uh, there is a tradition um, that I'd like to once again perform this year. So could I invite you, please, if you would, to raise your right hand. Raise your right hand, trust me. And place it on the thigh of the person on your right. Now raise your left hand and place it on the thigh of the person on your left. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the most important part of this. Please look, please look deeply into the eyes of the person on either side of you and repeat these words. We're going to have a great night tonight. Okay. You know, I find that the fastest 
way to make friends. Shall I let you into a little secret? I, um, I probably shouldn't tell you this. I, I rang my wife on the mobile phone. She's out there somewhere during the interval. And I said, Beverly, in my wildest dreams, did you ever imagine I'd be back at Temple Newsom for a fifth year? She said, in my wildest dreams, you never ever feature. I think that's cruel. Uh, <laughs> this, I think, and thank you to everybody who's still joining us. There's still people arriving, which is absolutely fantastic. Have a look around at all these lovely people in Temple Newsom. Just remember this moment, opera, in 06, a very, very special evening. So thank you very much indeed for joining us. It's good to have you with us. There's something quaintly British about it, isn't it? That all these people would sit in the pouring rain, eating, drinking, and getting very wet, and not minding about it. We're a very strange race, the British, because only in Britain do supermarkets make sick people walk all the way to the back of the store to get prescriptions when healthy people can buy cigarettes at the front. <laughs> you ever wondered why? Only in Britain do people order double cheeseburger, large fries, and a diet Coke. <laughs> you wondered, why do they do that? Thought for you, only in Britain do banks leave both doors open and chain the pens to the desk. <laughs> and a final one, and this might hit home. Only in Britain do we leave cars worth thousands of pounds on the drive and lock all our junk in the garage? Am I alone in that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she joined us in Temple Newsom last year for Opera in the Park and took Leeds and the hearts of Leeds by storm. Will you please welcome the one, the only, the truly amazing, Miss Catherine Jenkins.